we got a question from the audience, which I do want to emphasize because it is something that I feel strongly about. And the question is, and I'm going to, um, Ramon, I'm going to start with you because it is a hiring question, yeah. which is, how do you approach hiring people with physical disabilities or people who come from neurodiverse backgrounds? Um, and how do you think about, and this is a question for both of you, coverage? as it relates to this. So like one thing that has happened during the pandemic is multiple media organizations, I'm thinking of like the 19th, for example, now have disability desks, yeah. some of which are staffed by reporters who will describe themselves as like people with different types of disabilities. And that has been like a step change for a lot yeah. of places. Thank you for the question. Thank you for the question. Uh, I, I think this is um, a really important question. Uh, for us and for all of us up here. I, this is definitely where when we start thinking about diversity and its definition, where there has been, um, I think, a lack of inclusion uh, and uh, in terms of neurodiversity, disability, and the way we think about um, that as diversity. Absolutely part of the diversity. I think for us, what we've tried to do is partner with organizations that really have done some pioneering work here and have now included them in the way we think about we inter how we interview. Mm -hmm. You know, is the interview, a lot of times the way interviews are set up and the way the process is set up is exclusionary. You know, the, the, the whole concept of institutional discrimination is sort of at play here, that you build institutions in ways that exclude people. And, and I think definitely in terms of neurodiversity and disability, f literally, physically, we're building places that say, um, you know, don't apply.